Hey YouTube, how's it going? I wanted to make a video today to try to help explain something that confused me at first um, when it came to buying motors for my uh, quadcopter and uh, multi-rotor. And that question is, or that problem is actually the uh, motors are sold in counterclockwise C, uh, CCW and the clockwise CW. And you wonder like, well which kind do I need to buy? Um, because they're spinning, you know, I got two motors spinning clockwise and two motors spinning counterclockwise. Um, do, do I need to buy two of each kind of motors? How come some people only sell one type of motor? You go on the online or, um, well, yeah, mostly online. There's not too many stores locally around me that's are selling motors, but you go online and sometimes they only sell the one type, whether that's clockwise or counterclockwise. They, they only have the one type, so it's like, well, I need both, what do I do? So, here's an example of that. There's a couple Sunny Sky Motors, uh, 2204s. And if you look at the two types here, we can see that one of them is listed as X2204S with the 2300 kV. The other one is, is the same thing, but it's listed as a counterclockwise. So, what does that mean? Does that mean the motor is going to spin the opposite way? And in reality, those directions, clockwise and counterclockwise, although they could refer to how you're having the motor spin, that's not what these labels are for. These labels are talking about the direction of the threads on the prop shaft, the yeah, prop shaft where you're going to put your propeller and put the nut down on. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to start with the one that just has normal writing on it. But before I get to that, let's let's look at a case here of a nut and a bolt. Okay, so what does this bolt look like? Well, it looks like the prop shaft sticking up off the top of the motor, right? So when you look down on that prop shaft from this direction, the counterclockwise and the clockwise is referring to which direction is a nut going to thread onto this shaft. Typical bolt, it's going to be a right-handed thread so in other words it's spinning clockwise to tighten okay here's our here's our nut put that on there and as you see it's spinning clockwise to tighten okay so that's doing the same thing as if you used a lock nut on your prop shaft or those little aerodynamic nose cone type of things that come on the motors the clockwise indication of the motor means the threads you will you will tighten the nut by going clockwise so counterclockwise means actually a left-handed thread in which case turning it to the left would actually tighten the nut in this case it removes the nut because this is a standard right hand thread bolt okay so let's let's look at that just like the motor here so we've got the clockwise and the counter or you know no indication here and then we got counterclockwise on the right. So let's just look at these real quick. Okay, so this is a motor. It looks very familiar to most people. Take this nose cone off. Okay, so there's our prop shaft. Looks just like that bolt there, right? So from you look down from the top, which way are you going to have to turn this nut to make it tighten? And in this case, I'm turning it to the right and just to make that a little more evident here we'll put some put some tape on it okay so if I turn it to the right that's how it's tightening okay till it's bottomed out okay so that makes this one a clockwise motor clockwise look at this other box counterclockwise looks the same labels actually gonna say oh there it is counterclockwise okay so what that means is in this case to make this nut tighten we're actually gonna turn to the left so to loosen it I'm turning it to the right the way we would normally tighten the nut 
So those threads are going to these threads are actually opposite of those threads. Okay. So to tighten this on here, I'm turning it this way. I'm Let's use another piece of tape on this guy. Exaggerate that spinning a little more. So I'm holding the bill tight here. So I'm just only spinning that prop nut. You can see I'm spinning it to the left. And it's tight. And it's down. Okay, so that's all that that refers to is the direction of the threads. Now it, it gets confusing because sometimes you can tell by the way they're wording their uh, item description that they, they think they're referring to the rotation of the motor. But the rotation of the motor can be changed at any time by switching any two of these wires when you're soldering it up. You know that. Or, you know, you soldered it straight and you go into the uh, firmware of the uh, speed control like BL Heli and you swap the motor rotation in the firmware so that it, it doesn't refer to the rotation of the motor it really is the direction that you tighten these nuts now you can take that one step further and think about well I got these motors two of them have to spin in a clockwise direction and two of them have to spin in a counterclockwise direction to make my quadcopter fly correctly so knowing that you can put these motors on the appropriate arms knowing which way the nuts are threaded on and you therefore you get a self-tightening situation okay so let's look at this one here this should be the standard one All right if I yep, spin to the left and it comes off okay so spinning to the right this one tightens up okay so in other words think of it this way if if the nut is spinning clockwise while the base is being held still and that tightens it then the opposite is true if I hold the nut still and I spin the bell clock counterclockwise as I'm doing right now now the nut is tightening okay I had to back it off a little bit so let's say I'm holding the bell still and I spin the nut clockwise to tighten it you have to do the opposite in flight so holding the nut still spin the bell counterclockwise and that is tightening it okay so to, in order for this one to be a self tightening motor you're gonna wire it up so that the bell spins counterclockwise and counterclockwise um, well I'll show you I'll show you on a quad I'll just show you on my quad All right, so now we have a quad here. Going back to our scenario, now imagine these little lock nuts are the nose cones, and you want them to be self-tightening. Okay, so we know that here at the front of the quad, we're going to have this motor spinning in this direction, right? It always sweeps into the front here. This motor sweeps into the front this way, so this is actually clockwise. And in the rear, um, the opposite, we want this propeller sweeping into the rear this way so that's a counterclockwise this propeller sweeps into the rear this way so that's a clockwise okay so back to that self-tightening prop nuts thing so imagine these are the standard nuts not lock nuts okay we're, we were talking about holding the nut still and thinking about which way the bell is going to move so in this case, what we would want to do is in order to, we know that the bell on this one has to spin in a counterclockwise direction for our prop to give us the proper lift in this, in this location. Uh, I forget, I think Clean Flight labels these 1, 2, 3, 4, so let's say motor 3. So if the bell is going to be spinning in this counterclockwise direction, we would want this nut to be a clockwise nut. Okay, so imagine, let's go back to this other one here. So if we want this to tighten when the bell spins in a counterclockwise direction, we need to put on a clockwise motor. So it's, it's the opposite. Remember, see this is not labeled as 
counterclockwise. This is a standard rotation motor. So this th this nut, which pretend it's that nut, this nut tightens when you turn to the right, which would mean that the bell would be spinning to the left like that. Okay, so this motor would go here and here. So the basically clockwise motors come on focus on there see it says clockwise clockwise motors indicates the thread tightens in a clockwise manner the bell spins in a counterclockwise manner counterclockwise motors The bell tightens in a counterclockwise manner. I'm sorry, the nut tightens in a counterclockwise manner. The bell would then spin in a clockwise manner. Same as up here on motor four and motor one. So these would go front left, rear right. Okay, so. Hopefully that helps. It confused the heck out of me before. You just you, you got to sit there and think about oh hold holding the nut still which way is the bell turning, and then look at the label on the motor and you're like hey that's backwards. Well that's because it's not talking about the way the bell spins. It's talking about the way the nut tightens. Okay. The easy way, easiest easiest thing to do on these. Just if you're ever buying replacement motors or you're starting buying motors the first time. Just get, just get all clockwise. Just get all clockwise motors. You can use the little nuts that come with it, or better off, just get getting lock nuts, standard thread, right, righty tighty, you know, right-handed thread lock nuts. Then you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to buy spare motors. Well, I need one clockwise and one counterclockwise. Just get all clockwise from the start, and it's the easiest way to go. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. Uh, confuse the heck out of me at the start, but. I get it now. Um, so if you have any other questions, go ahead and leave me some comments down below and I'll try to answer you the best I can. And I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.